Last year, millions of Americans make a New Year's resolution that they likely won't keep. However, studies do show that setting New Year's resolutions as a family can increase your chances of achieving them by a whopping 85% compared to doing it on your own. So joining me now live this morning to talk about it are Juliana and Bill Ranzik, two of my favorite people. Good morning. Uh. Good morning, Alex. Hey, Alex, I have to ask you a quick question. Did you tweet me? I did. I did tweet you. Oh, oh my, my God. God. I, I knew it. I was like quickly looking through. I saw your name on the monitor. I'm like, Alex, I'm like, I think she tweeted me yesterday. Uh -oh. So anyway, how are you? I, I'm great. I'm great. I talked to you a little bit ago about snacking. So that was great. Did yeah. you guys have a really yes. great New Year's? We had a great New Year, yes. And, uh, and we somehow are, we still are sticking to our family resolution. We, we made a family kind of New Year's resolution <laughs> because, Alex, as you said, you know, most people, they fail. And, and statistically, <laughs> by the second week of February, the resolutions are out the window. So we said, you know, what? we're going to learn from our past mistakes. This year, we're going to do a family resolution. We're going to help each other. Yes. We're going to stay on course. We're 11 days in. And so far, so far, so, so good. good. High five. Yes, darling. Absolutely. And you guys, it said 85% of a better chance of keeping those resolutions as a family. So talk about why that is, why that helps. Well, you know, I think it, it helps pick each other up, you That's know, so when someone is kind of slipping a little bit or saying, hmm, you know, maybe I'll break it just tonight, you always have someone else, at least one other person. No, no, goes, no, 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 no. I don't think so. And Bill's very good at <laughs> keeping me on track <laughs> when I try to break anything. Um, but, yeah, our family resolution this year is pretty simple, and maybe people at home will want to do this. It's basically carving out one night a week for dinner and game night with our family. Um, and so far, it's, it's been a lot of fun, and we actually teamed up with Marshalls. We went and got some great products uh, to help us with the cooking portion of it, uh, like great kitchen and, and cooking essentials, um, as well as games. They have amazing prices as you probably know mm -hmm. at Marshall's and, and great high quality items so yeah so so far so good and I think that's half the battle is just getting the right products the right items making that little bit of investment so that you stay on track and also creating a list Alex you know it's so important you take a pen to paper you write down your resolutions yeah. you put that list somewhere that you're gonna see it every single day so for us it's in our bathroom mirror every morning we see it it helps us stay on track stay the course and it's a constant reminder uh, which is what a lot of people need and it gives you guys some more family time, I imagine. You know, I, I follow you guys pretty well, and your son's adorable. But does this help you guys, you know, feel closer together as a family? It does. You know, I got to say, it was funny. When we were doing, when we were shopping and getting products, we got this beautiful, like, um, beautiful wood tray. And we're using that tray as a place to put our devices on that night. So part of that night is everyone has to put their phones. That's right. um, our son's iPad has to go on that tray. And once again, it's that reminder. I see that tray now, mm -hmm. and that was the reason I bought it. So now every time I see it, I'm going to be reminded that's the device tray. And these are just the little tips right. uh, and tricks that people can take away, kind of from what we're doing and we're hoping that it helps other people spend more time together as a family because as we all know we are busier than ever we're more connected to That's work right. than ever because of our phones uh, so it's really a great way to reconnect with the family and speaking of family uh, my nephew Liam Shannon he is a sophomore <laughs> at U of I in Champaign there Illinois. you go give him so a shout Liam, out Rancic I hope you're studying get good grades <laughs> uh, I'll come and visit at U of I very soon oh that I had no idea your nephew went to U of I. That's, I'm actually from the Chicago. Uh, and I had he goes a, there. And a niece who just graduated. So, yeah, we've got a lot of roots in Champaign. Awesome. Well, I'm actually from Chicago, so I'll be visiting RPM later this month just to let you guys well, know. Well, our, our doors are always open. Love for it. Yeah. yeah, our restaurants in yeah. Chicago. And we have a new one coming soon, so oh. you're going to hear about it soon, Alex. Yeah. A oh. new concept. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for that sneak preview there. Well, you know what, Juliana and Bill, thanks mm -hmm. so much for talking to me. You guys are wonderful. And I am congratulating you on your goals for this year. You're sticking to them. It's only day 11, but I have some faith in you both. So thanks so much. And we're going to do it. Thanks, do it. Alex. Thank you. Yeah, thank I'll you so you later. much. Yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, Juliana and Bill, absolutely wonderful people there setting goals for the new year. From Golden Globes to Golden Goals, they've got it all. We'll be right back.